So here is a look I got as a baby back lip from RT2. I mean, it's a slack, right? Holy cow. I think maybe, <coughs> let's see. Wow. Almost 4.7 pound to 99 per pound. So I gain to first, you know, just cut it and trim a little bit. Some of the fat on there and slice each, you know, and also put it in cold water to remove some blood. So after you open the bag, just wash with water. Then use a paper towel to make the membrane and also trim up some of fat on the meat. Then slice it between each bone. Okay? Then we put in a pot with cold water, right? Tap water. Then add some ginger, you know, wine, cooking wine. Then what else? Sometimes you can put onion, carrots. And also I like put some onion roots here to remove some, you know, smell from, from the meat. So here's a <coughs> green onion, you know, root. I just put in the in the meat. So here is a sliced uh, pork rib, right? So it used to be a piece, large piece of meat here. I just trim it, you know, then cut it into small, you know, chops like cubic like that. Here be you know four four inches like that. Then put everything here, you know, heat it to remove all the blood until you can see the meat looks like very white. Then you can take out. Also, also remove the floating on the top. See this blood. Oh, now it is boiling, right? Did you see that? This is blood. Can you see that now? So that stuff, right? Just cook it. You see, this is all the blood. Uh, all the blood, sorry. This is all the blood. Okay. Blood here too. Well, all the blood. Just you know, leave there, cook for 10 minutes. But meanwhile, you know what I can do? I can use a, sc a scoop. I can use a scoop. Then remove some of the blood. Did you see that? Remove some of the blood. Of the blood, yeah, just leave for 10 minutes. So, after you take it from the pot, right, I will rinse this each rape in this tap of water, then turn it so it's ready to cook it. So, now I can do make the braised pork ribs, right? First, heat. Here is a pan, you know. Also add oil. Also add um, five, you know, spoon teaspoon sugar to make the caramel, you know. So brown golden color. Then what I can use also is a dark sauce, dark soy sauce, and also this is like you know, soy sauce, light soy sauce. So ingredients I have it's a five star any sauce. Ginger. So I use some, I cut it small, I should use a whole clove of garlic. So did you see that when you heat the oil, you know, the, the sugar turns brown, right? Just stir it. And the oil, and the oil turns brown, right? So you can add the ginger and also the leaves. There, right? And you can add all the stuff. Right? Yeah, then add the pot of leaves too. You can add the pot of leaves. All the stuff. So it's just all the stuff now. So, how the stuff now can see some little bit of pot and about some of the stuff that I didn't see. Like 
Concentrate the sauce and then dump in the top of the meat. So, yeah, for this pork, right, I already put in the pressure cooker for 15 minutes. Now it's already uh, 3 minutes past, so I have now 12 minutes left. So, the braised pork is ready. I can do plate it, then you know, concentrate the sauce. So, after I taste it, the taste is really good. So I'm not going to concentrate the sauce. Just put the whole sauce on the meat. It's good enough. You know? Actually, I have two plates. Make enough for two days. Just, it's really delicious. So it's good enough. Yeah, that's it. So yes, this is my braised pork. Very delicious. 